David Stewart here, continuing now with part three of my classical and flamenco technique series. We're going to start with right hand technique. We're going to go evaluate all three of our right hand techniques uh, before we go on to the left hand. Uh, the right hand technique is very important because that's how we activate the guitar. That's what generates our tone. So the first right hand technique we're going to talk about is rest stroke, otherwise known as apoyando. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the camera on the guitar here. Rest stroke is um, a stroke that we tend to use to play scales, um, where we are pressing the string and landing on the string behind. We tend to use it for lots of single notes. The motion for rest stroke is occurs mostly at the large knuckle, and it's the tips of the fingers coming towards the tip of the thumb. So if you start by putting your thumb here on the sixth string and pressing down, pushing down towards the top of the guitar on the first string, and landing on the second string, you'll be doing the motion correctly. Notice my fingers remain curved, but the motion and the strength comes from the big knuckle here. Okay. So again, it's the motion of the hand of the fingers coming towards the tip of the thumb. We do the same technique for the thumb. All right, so same technique with the thumb. Uh, it's coming towards the tip of the fingers. That's the motion. Um, a great way to practice this without having to play scales or melodies or anything like that is just to, to try playing alternating I and M, your I finger, your M finger, Notice my knuckle is not lined up directly over the string that I'm playing, but rather the string that I'm landing on. So if I show this directly straight on, you'll see that the knuckle's lined up with the second string for the most part, then the third, as I'm landing on the third, then the fourth. Same thing with the thumb. Let me just keep a finger down to stabilize it. So most of the motion comes from our fingers. We don't want to be moving our arm. And that's how you play uh, eventually piccato and things like that. You're going to do that with the rest stroke. Thanks for watching.